Thank you, CVS, for sponsoring this video. Good morning. I just woke up. I'm tired. You know what I've been doing a great job of this week of? Sleeping nine hours. Truly, I've mastered it these past couple days, and my life has been fantastic. But tell me why I sleep for nine hours and for some reason when I wake up I'm more tired? Whoa, I just got the weirdest flashback from English class in high school. I remember this teacher, she'd be like, she'd make us sit there and go, I'm alive, I'm awake, and I feel great. She would make us chant that. And that same teacher, I remember I was getting straight A's in her class and she called my dad and told him, that I was bad for the class because the class was like doing what I did and my dad defended me He's like, what is her grade in the class? Oh, an A? Yeah, that's what I thought. Are you mad at my daughter for being influential? He defended me. Wait, that was kind of cute that she made us say I'm alive, I'm awake, and I feel great It was definitely a positive affirmation exercise and maybe I'm <sighs> Maybe I'm rude, that was such a cute exercise. But I'm like, is this kindergarten? Like, why do we have to do that? Well, I'm actually gonna try today and I'm gonna put myself together in the face region. I'm gonna be doing drugstore makeup today and I'm excited about that. I have a bunch of new products from CVS. They're doing this new event called the Beauty Don't Stop event. And basically, a lot of different things are on sale, which is really exciting. It's geared towards having fun at home and trying new makeup trends and having like cool finds and cool dupes. So let's get into it. Let me just my cellar water the face real quick and then let's go to the studio because I'm not doing full glam in the bathroom, no girl. Fun fact, actually really, really sad fact. Um, I have a good side, but I always forget which one it is and then when I'm filming, I like think I'm getting my good side. I don't know if it's this one or this one though. And if I film a whole get ready with me and it's the wrong side, I'm just gonna be so pissed at myself when I watch it back. But I know you're gonna love me for me regardless of which side. Is it this side? I think it's definitely this side, but if I'm wrong, that's just gonna be very funny. Um, let's get into this, get ready with me. I didn't wet this. Be right back. Okay, let's get this on and popping. Ooh, so I got a bunch of new products. I'm actually excited to make this look with them. Um, and I'm excited to talk to you about a variety of different things. I'm glad we're sitting down today because I just kind of want to word vomit and have some girl time, so let's get into it. Some of the products that I have though, wow. But yeah, bunch of new fun products to try thanks to CVS, that's iconic. I didn't film any of this because I honestly didn't have the time, but I just did my 12 3 30, showered, and had a call with my therapist, question mark, life coach, question mark, I think he's more of a life coach. But let's continue to normalize talking to somebody that's a little bit more professional and doesn't have a bias on your personal life and is just there to talk to you because it is truly amazing and I'm so glad that it's 2020 and things are less stigmatized. Like I feel like five years ago it was such a, like oh you have a therapist, like is something wrong with you? And now it's such an openly discussed thing and I know a lot of people that talk to someone and it's great like i even know that some insurances will cover it etc but i love talking to my life coach so much he's so wise and i learn a lot honestly he really just helps me like keep myself together and um it's just a great I'm, we just need to normalize things like this because sometimes it is so important to have somebody who you can tell your problems to that you don't have to bore a friend like sometimes you don't want to unload all of your issues onto a friend a because now you're kind of like putting that on them and i guess that's what friends are for which is true to a certain extent but also like i like having friendships to be more friendships and then i don't feel like i'm just like vomiting all my problems onto somebody and it's better than talking to your issues with a partner because sometimes your issues are your partner and instead of just taking it out on them you can talk about that with somebody else so yeah all in all huge fan of talking to somebody oh i forgot that i have these cute little makeup clips like if you're gonna do your makeup and clip your hair you might as well be cute about it i feel high fashion i also feel bald why do i feel bald what did i do <laughs> okay well 
whatever, I tried. I got this new palette from Pop Beauty. I've used it once and I was happy with the results. So today I'm gonna be experimenting with a new eyeshadow look. I am gravitating towards the sparklies and the pinkies. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of colors on my face and hope that it turns out good. But every time that I do it, it kind of does. So I'm just gonna get cocky with it. I feel like just a hint of glitter on the ball of the eye is like the perfect tasteful amount for daytime makeup, you know what I mean? And for nighttime, you throw that shiz everywhere. I literally have not put a winged eyeliner on myself in so long. So I've been doing the laziest makeup. <laughs> Cause like, what's the point, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm gonna do this winged eyeliner and I'm not even gonna remember what to do. Um, oh, let's see. I feel like you've probably seen this somewhere, but I'm doing that lot, like that type of winged liner where you go up here and you connect it here and then you go down here. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like, you know, where you, it looks kind of like a graphic liner, but it's to make your eyes look wider. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I learned how to do it months ago and I haven't done it in months. So let's hope this goes well. I want to say that I executed well. So the point of doing the eyeliner like this is so that when you look straight, the eye doesn't like close up a bit. I think I, uh, I don't know. But honestly, when I put on the lash, it's not even gonna matter anymore. I have the Timeless Classic, the Ardell Wispies. What I love about the Wispies is that you can make them like low-key dramatic lashes, but they're definitely made for the daytime. I mean, they're just such a classic, but they're definitely made for the daytime. But if you like position them like very upward, if you know what I mean, they can become very dramatic and it'll cover my eyeliner mistake. If it's a mistake, I don't know if it's good or not. I have this product called the Wonder Brow. This one confused me at first because I was like, wait, how do you use this? Because it literally came like this. I was like, what do I do with that? But you paint it onto a spoolie and it's cool because you can actually get like the exact amount of product you desire. And then you use it to brush up your eyebrows and fill them in and it's great. Um, I have an insecurity update. Um, so a couple videos ago, I was telling you about my huge insecurity with my sideburns and how I incessantly pluck them. And yeah, I like really pluck them like crazy. The plucking obsession got so bad that I wouldn't even film a video for this channel without literally individually plucking out each individual sideburn hair because I thought they were ugly. Um, but when I posted that video where I talked about it for some reason, it kind of like took the power away from my insecurity as corny as it sounds, but it really did happen. And I was reading your comments and you guys were like, it's really not that big of a deal and I never noticed. And one comment that stood out to me specifically was, um, I actually like your sideburns because when you don't have them, it looks like you're wearing a wig. That sent me. Um, so ever since I've been just like letting them grow out and I feel like it's no big deal now. I'm like, wait, they actually frame my face. I don't feel as insecure about them. It's crazy when you talk about something or when you like kind of address something head on, you literally take the power away. So that's an update there. See how like fluffy and pretty this brow looks? I'm, I really actually like this product a lot, the Wonder Brow. I had never heard of it, but now I'm like, okay, work. I have these makeup remover wipes from Almay. I'm gonna use them to clean my gunky eyelash curler. <laughs> it's really funny when the gunk kind of just builds up and you don't. I don't know if we ever truly sat down and discussed my little mini trip to LA, but that was a very good trip. And I'm super glad that I went because I got to have some time by myself and I was able to meet up with a bunch of people that I work with. And I really realized how grateful I am and thankful I am that I have a job where like people with experience give me the time of day to be honest because like since I do what I do I have these women on my team that are you know a little bit older and more experienced than me and they'll give me the time of day and like sit with me and talk to me about life and it's a great position to be in so I'm thankful for that and yeah if you have people like that in your life um really listen to them because they truly most of the time just are looking out for you because They've been there, done that type of thing, and they have good advice. So I met with like a couple different people like that in LA that I'm like just so grateful that I did that. I've also been meaning to talk to you about this because I've been really noticing it. And I don't know if it's like, okay, you know when you like go look at a car and then you like test drive it and then you think about it and you're on the roads and you like see this car everywhere and you're like, wait, I never noticed this car because it was never something that I thought about, but now that I've like test driven this car, I can't stop seeing this car everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I feel like that's like a, actually a pretty good example, but 
ever since I moved here and I left my big city and I moved to a smaller town, I've been noticing online, like a lot of the people that I follow are doing the same thing. A lot of random people are doing the same thing. And I think that because of everything that's going on, there's like this macro trend that's happening. So my question for you, have you A, participated in this? Like, have you left a big city and moved to a small town because you realize that you don't like the traffic and it's too much and you can get the same work done from home? Or are you thinking about it? Or do you think that this is just all gonna pass? And the second things are just like back to normal, things are back to normal and the big cities are where it's at because I've been noticing this trend. And I'm like, it's not just me that did it. It's like a big thing. Also, I just saw this, I'm gonna add this. This is the Pop Beauty Flash Shadow. I feel like it's one of those products that you just swipe on and it gives you a little bit more glitter right off the bat. Let's see. I feel like it's gonna be very easy and cool. I've been trying to get better at like contouring my lips because my makeup artist the other day contoured my lips and I was like, whoa. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to just put one color everywhere. Like let's, let's contour them a bit. Anyways, all these are from the Beauty Don't Stop event at CVS and it's happening right now. So go shop the event because there's lots of cool sales and deals. I'm trying to figure out what color to use on the inside of my lips, I'm leaning more towards this one, but this one seems more daytime-y, so I think I'm gonna do this one. Or I'm gonna mix, let's mix. This is the NYX Cosmetics Power Puff Lippy, and this is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And I'm gonna do a little combo. So the Wispies are locked and loaded. I'm gonna connect them with the mascara right now. Also, it's so cool to me that Glam Squad has their own product line now. I didn't really even know that. Because in my experience, Glam Squad are like those people that you call and come do your makeup at your house, but I guess they have their own product now, which is cool. So now I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion, another classic. And I'm just gonna connect the wispies and I'm going to make my bottom lashes pop. I really did what I had to do here and I did it all with pretty affordable makeup. So pop off CVS, thank you for sponsoring this video. Please do it again. <laughs> Was that too forward? I got a haircut. I don't know if you remember how my hair used to be. It used to be so long, like honestly, like OD. And I just tamed it down a bit. Like I still definitely have long hair, but it's just more, you know, not crazy long. Ew, I need to brush it. Why is it? Oops. Oh my God. I stopped putting on self tanner. Um, honestly, just because I ran out of the product, I'm just waiting for the rest to come. But I'm realizing now how used to seeing myself I am with self-tanner, because right now I'm looking at myself and I'm like, girl, <laughs> I like hardly recognize myself because I'm so used to seeing myself tan. And the gag is I get really tan naturally and it's beautiful. Like I get a beautiful natural tan because I'm Colombian. Um, but I just know too much about the sun now. I've learned, you know, far too many things that I can't forget. But the sun is so damaging, so now I just like avoid it at all costs. And now this is my color, which I mean, nothing wrong with this color. I just feel different than what I usually feel. You know? But I definitely am glad that I put myself together a little bit today because I feel like I never go this all out <laughs> with my makeup these days, but it was fun. And I also feel like I can copy paste this look for Christmas because this looks like a very Christmas or like, holiday inspired look. So I'm definitely gonna copy paste. Uh, I am feeling overly adventurous right now to say the least. Um, my boyfriend decided to get a pickup truck and like one of those super long ones too. And I'm in the mood to drive it. I just wanna go around town in it. So let's go. I really, uh, I drove it once for literally 30 seconds and got scared and dipped out. So I'm gonna go solo by myself because I feel like there's no other way for me to get to learn how to drive this. Let's go, field trip. Ah! So this is her. Not me driving this monstrosity. I mean, look, I got insurance, Neil. Get in! <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> okay. Um, well, I just adjusted this seat and everything. This is gonna be terrifying. Okay. And uh, we're on our way, guys. I adjusted the seat and everything. This feels so weird. Although I will say there is something so badass about driving something this massive. Like I am not used to this and I feel like I can conquer the world, but I'm also 
but terrified at the same time. But I'm going to cryotherapy right now. Y'all know that this is my vibe. I love a good cryo session. You just go in there and you freeze, and then you get on out. Wow, I feel, I'm not gonna lie, I feel powerful driving this car. I really wish there was healthy drive-throughs. Why is that not a thing? How is it 2020 and there isn't like a salad fast food drive through Like I know that they have those quick little like, come in, make your own salad, walk out, but why is there no drive throughs I think it would be a thriving business and like we need that. How does that not exist? I'm so hungry right now and I don't feel like getting out of the car, but I also don't want like drive through food. Okay, I have a left turn coming up and I'm nervous. But the thing about Scottsdale though, is that the roads are super chill, which I'm super happy about. Like the roads in LA, I would not be able to drive this truck. I'm barely able to drive my little car in LA because it's so intense. Wow, this left turn is gonna be so scary. Um, but it's really not that bad. Like nothing will ever beat the LA. <laughs> okay, let's just make this left, girl. You got it. Oh, this is so scary. Oh my god, a cop just pulled somebody over and they're gonna see me vlogging. I mean, I don't think it's a crime, right? I don't think I'd get pulled over. <laughs> I'm so scared, I just wanna get there. I'm like, where's the autopilot on this thing? Okay, we did make it. Let's see how parking goes. Oh, we're just gonna have to wait. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, oh no, no, no. I'm so scared. Okay, God, keep calm. Um. This was such a cute idea in theory, but then I realized that I would have to, like actually have to do things. Yeah, I, j I parked bad, but everybody's gonna have to deal with it. Oh my god, there's a guy laughing at me for vlogging. That's ugh. people are so fucking rude. That was so cold. My legs get so red. I get so cold. Cryotherapy low, and like, oh, it is so lit. You get like this burst of energy afterwards too. And I don't know. Um, but what's so funny is like everybody in the spot, like if anybody's waiting to go in there, um, they can all hear the song that you pick and they like blast the song in your little cryo chamber. And I always blast the most like vulgar <laughs> songs because the other songs don't make me like relax. Like, wait, yeah, because the other songs are too relaxing, you know, like I can't have some like PG rated song. If I'm going to be in a freezing chamber, I need X rated songs and like sometimes there's like a family outside and I'm just like blasting my Meg Thee Stallion um but it'd be like that and I'm pretty shameless about it every time so sorry about it <laughs> all right let's go home I'm kind of nervous about driving this thing there but I believe in myself because I made it here and I parked flawlessly which I wasn't expecting then I got out of the car and I looked at it I'm like excuse me to perfection so in some personal news um Something happened this week that just like shouldn't have happened. Like, you know when something happens and you're like, there's literally no reason why that is okay and why that happened. But one of those happened to me this week and I'm basically just really pissed at somebody that I know. Um, so I had a conversation about it with my therapist today. And one of the things he advised that I do is spend five minutes journaling just about the situation. And I feel like the reason he suggested that is because he kept being like, so how do you feel? Like, what are you feeling? And I'm like, pissed. I'm like, I am just pissed about this. And it should have just never gone down. So I'm gonna journal for five minutes about how pissed I am. And hopefully this is a good tool. I've never really journaled for this reason, but if this is something that works, I hope it is. Um, so yeah, I, I'll see you in five. Oof! Well, that was fun. I got like this much of the page and um, lots of F-bombs in there. I don't know if I feel better yet. I think I do. I'm smiling a lot more than I was before. I guess I feel better. Um, okay, I truly enjoyed hanging out with you today, but I just took my nighttime gummies, so it is officially my bedtime. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will see you on the next video. And subscribe, because I know you watched multiple of my videos, so you might as well, you might as well do it. Bye. Love you. Thank you, CVS, for sponsoring this video and shop their Beauty Don't Stop event that's happening right now.